Well, hey there, my friend. Welcome to my channel, Ink and Whimsy. I'm Laura Daniels, and I'm glad you've decided to spend a little bit of your day with me. I am going to be doing a flip through. Matter of fact, I'll be doing this the um, beginning of each month to reflect back on the previous month to give you a flip through of my planners. Now, you only need one planner or you could have three, or you could have 20. I have several because I try to creatively show you how you can use the Laurel Denise planners. I absolutely love uh, the Laurel Denise planners. Uh, Mabby, Lolly, and Nancy are just hilarious and just so fun and sassy. If you haven't checked out any of their videos, uh, grab yourself a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, get under your favorite afghan, especially if it's winter time, and just enjoy and laugh going through their videos. They are hilarious. So I'm an affiliate, and um, with that being said, that's one of the reasons I like to provide content for you. So we're going to flip through the month of July. We're going to go through my month at a glance photo journal. We're going to go through my monthly planning planner and then my monthly storybook. So let's get started. The first one I want to show you is my month at a glance photo journal. Now this is using the Laurel Denise monthly project planner. What's unique about the project planner is that <clears throat> it has a tracker on the bottom, four columns, and your monthly. This is the undated, so you could get very creative with the stickers and the colors that you bring into it because there's nothing in your way, color-wise, of creating what you want to create. So we're going to move to the month of July. I've already done a six-month flip through so you can see all of January through June. What I like to do, and I'm still trying to figure out my way with this, is to, I pick the top four to six photos from the month, the ones that really tell a story for me. And after I've picked out the photos, and sometimes I'll use a screenshot of a Facebook post, because that has photos with it, I'll choose the photos, then I'll choose a sticker set that complements the colors, and then I'll move into finding washi, highlighters, and pens. Uh, here, this is a Live Love Posh, and uh, she has sticker books. If you just look her up, you'll just find a myriad of sticker books, and I believe this is the um, Wonderlust sticker book. Now, I didn't fly to Italy. I didn't fly to Rome, Greece. I drove up to Chattanooga to visit my daughter, but I figured that kind of counted, so there's a suitcase. Plus, I needed the colors. <laughs> so, and I'm trying to use up my stash. So the, the four st top stories were going to see my daughter for a girls weekend in Chattanooga. It was these two uh, precious, my niece, Izzy, and my granddaughter, Diana Rose. They both graduated from pre-K this year and turned five, so they'll be starting kindergarten. And the Facebook posts uh, are from a Grandma Nana day that we do with my granddaughter, so we had a great time. What I usually just focus on over here are the highlights, the events, the celebrations, and the travel, because I want to be able to look through this and get a recap of the month. So here are some of the others. Be sure to check out the playlist below, and you'll be able to see a walkthrough of the entire first six months. Now we're going to move on to the I want to get to the right month now hold on I can't peek ahead all right so here is July now this planner is a work in progress because I again I'm still trying to figure out what works best for me this is my planning planner this is the one I don't use a lot of stickers you're gonna find in August that I used the Laurel Denise stickers maybe here and here but other than that I have so many things going on, I don't want my brain to get any more cluttered than it can than it can be. Yeah, it, it definitely can be. <laughs> but on top of that, when there are a lot of stickers, it kind of gets in the way with what I'm trying to see clearly. Uh, just a few thoughts on this. I love crossing out the day. It always helps me to find out where I'm at right away. Here, I always do the forecast, and then I have my tasks. And then over here on the right, okay, this week, these are the things I want to get done. 
Uh, I kept this pretty much the same. I like to have the color yellow next to tasks that I haven't completed. So when I'm moving on to the next week, I can just, okay, bring this over here. All right. And the benefit of having the forecast, I know if I need to carry an umbrella. The sticker note, sticky note down here on the bottom is just something particular for that week that I want to focus on. And this was packing for my girls weekend with my daughter. And here we're moving on. I pretty much kept the same format and I brought out some color here just by drawing lines with a highlighter, a zebra pen, I believe it was. And this is when I was planning the Grandma Nana Day. And trackers, I don't know if I'll keep doing those. It just doesn't seem to be my thing because I find um, I don't go back here to look at it. I know what I like to do every day in my morning routine. Um, here on the dashboard, this is for the entire month. So when I'm planning the week, I look over here at the month and then I'll plan, okay, what's going to go from here to over here? And you can see the yellow dots of what was not completed that I need to carry over into August. I have mail going in and out. I have um, the girls weekend, what my daughter and I planned, different errands I want to get done, and a note for whatever it is that I may be focused on. And these is, this is the fall launch schedule for 31. Now, next month is going to be fun. I look forward to sharing that with you because I've tried out each week a different format. So as we go through the month, at, I'll go over Oh, I don't know when I'll do it, probably the first week of September, showing you what August looked like. So I think you'll enjoy that. All right, now this is July. Now any of you that have already seen the six month flip through, you saw that I progressed from using it as a planner to I'm moving into making it more of a storybook and a memory journal. And the progress has been slow because I have to figure out what to do with all these different areas, but that's one of the things we love about it. And I'm excited to show you what I did over here. So this is a Live Love Posh sticker book. Uh, here I do the same thing that I do with my month at a gla glance. This has holidays, birthdays, celebrations, travel, and main events. I log the weather, it's not the forecast, y'all know who that, how that can change, and I still I have tasks here, but I'm going to move past that to this just being a highlight of the day, and I'll probably put the holiday, I'll log birthdays, and it could be uh, mom went on a trip with the senior center, uh, Diana Rose attended her first day of kindergarten, that's what I would have here. I want to have gratitude here, and this is always the top memory of the week. So when I look at all of that, at the end of the month, it's going to tell the story of the entire month. Uh, my gratitude, the different events that happened in my family, what the weather was. So you can see how I kind of get, now I like this. I took zebra highlighter pens and brought out the same colors that were in the stickers and I just drew lines with it. And this was a piece of washi I have. I could not tell you where I bought it. Could be Michael's, could be Hobby Lobby. Um, I did highlight different meetings. I don't think, yeah, I guess those are something I would have in this as I move forward with it. And then of course I put my little tab right here. All right, y'all ready? This is what I'm so excited to show you because in the past, I didn't know what to do with that very last page, right? It was a trackers and I'm not gonna, I don't wanna memory keep trackers. So I kept trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So here we go. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I love it. Isn't this, this makes my heart happy because what I did is I, this is the tracker page. I, and this is what I'll continue doing in the future, is I'll screenshot my two favorite Facebook posts of the month, and I'll put them over here, decorate around them. And on the right is always going to be the top story of the month. I love to write. I love to gather my thoughts in my head and to tell a story. And I think this is going to be fun for the kids to look through um, years to come. I guess maybe I'm just patting myself on the back, but I think maybe they might want to read it <laughs> over here. I'm listing the top memories of the month. Like this could be went to my went to visit my daughter in Chattanooga, had Grandma Nana Day, 
um, this happened, this happened. I could even write something that happened in the news. So this, these are, this is how I'm transforming this. And it is literally my monthly storybook. And then we have my planning planner. And then we have the month at a glance photo journal. Now I'm going to be adding one more planner and it's going to be my social media planner. So then from now on at the end of the month, you'll see me flip through four different planners. If you enjoyed this type video where I do a flip through, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Comment on the favorite planner so far. If there's an idea that you really like that I share and if you have one to share with me. And until we meet again, God bless. Have an incredible day.